difficult to turn that around and become winners and say, we believe. So we took it to heart and, uh, you know, the girls uh, did a good job of responding. Our seniors did a great job of saying, hey, we need to turn this around. We're okay. It's, you know, it's early. We can still do some things. And really the last uh, four innings of the third game, we really started to come together. We started to put some things, uh, people in the right places, and the last two games we played very well. We really did. We still made some mistakes that cost us, but uh, we hung in there and we really became the team that I hope is going to be there. You know, we've made some adjustments. Our freshman pitchers struggled, but they rebounded. Uh, McKenzie Surface rebounded very well in that second game, which did a really good job. So. You know, we can get back to the drawing board now. That's the key component. Uh, we're going to get on the field hopefully tomorrow. It's still a little wet. And now we'll get a chance to do those intersports. We'll get a chance to try and uh, figure out who's going to play in the right position to give our pitchers some time to be able to throw off here. So it's a win-win situation from that standpoint. But it, it, was, uh, it was pretty hectic. I think a lot of it was jitters, um, especially with the young team that we have. I mean, half our team is freshmen, and you know, yeah, we had games in the fall, but it wasn't as high intensity as this past weekend was. And I think once we got to see a lot more live pitching, I mean, we've been inside and outside and back and forth, and the, it, it does take a toll on us with our eyes and everything. It's totally different being outside versus inside. And, seeing the ball off the dirt instead of off the turf. And so I think for what we had to work with, we did okay, and we just kept making steps more. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we were down at 7 out or something and by the third inning, and we, you know, we told the girls, you know, just battle back one at a time. You know, you don't have to score seven innings and one inning just to get back in the game. You know, keep, keep putting pressure on and everything, and they'll fold, and that's what we did. It was big. Um, you know, I saw a lot of faces like, oh man, like, is this how it's going to be the rest of the season? And after that win and, you know, after that big seven inning push we had for that one inning, like, our mentalities changed right back around. Like, we got excited and we knew what we were here for. Well, I, you know, I, I think so. As I mentioned early on, I think we have power. I think we have speed. We have components. We just need to put that together. Uh, we hit the ball well in situations where we really struggled. In, in we were trying to hit an eight-run homer with nobody on base. You know, so we were trying to do things that really were uncharacteristic of what we can do. But uh, you know, the three, Michaela and Brooke and Zoe, Sarah had a great weekend, hit the ball very well. If we can get everybody kind of clicking, get maybe a tie back, and you know, the other girls responded well. We had two or three freshmen that I tell you what, I'm really excited about their capability to take on a new position and help us out. And uh, I think Mick hit it on the nose, the fact that that last game brought us back to where we wanted to be. Because it could have been a long ride home. It could have been a situation where we're really second-guessing ourselves. I mean, you could hear everybody talking about, oh, it seemed it was going to be pretty good. We're not worried about any of that because we can't control those things, but we can control what we can do next. And that's where I think we're responsible.